Hello everybody, this is Colton with AMS. Today I want to talk to you about your Shaw Direct uh, satellite troubleshooting. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through some very basic steps of troubleshooting as well as some more advanced troubleshooting to try to get your TV working for you today. Alright, we're going to start off with some of the more common issues. Uh, number one being weather. Is it snowing right now? Is that why your TV's out? It could be, specifically if it works on a nice sunny day. Uh, rain will also do the same thing. Now granted, it has to be pretty torrential downpour uh, for it to do that, but that's definitely can be the culprit as well. Not only that, but high winds. If your dish is kind of on the borderline of alignment and a high wind is hitting it just the right way, it might bump it out of alignment even more, causing the issue. So keep that in mind. What is the weather doing? That's very important. The next thing to keep in mind is there's something blocking the dish. Now, if it's worked fine and you just put up a new building or something beside it, well, maybe that's what did it, right? The dish might have to be moved at that point. Also, the most common culprit for interference is probably trees. They're my number one nemesis. Now, I hear this all the time. Well, the dish has been there for 10 years. The tree's been there for 20. You know, it worked fine. Well, trees grow, right? <laughs> so just because it's worked last year doesn't mean that finally a branch, you know, it, it could take a couple leaves just in the right spot to throw it off. The next thing to try would be a receiver swap. So if you have more than one receiver in the home, and only one location is faulty, take the working receiver, move it to the faulty location, and try to plug it in there. If the receiver comes on, then that tells me that the receiver at the problem location is probably to blame. If not, if it doesn't work, then you probably have a faulty line. Now there is a few things that could lead to these issues that aren't those. It's not concrete that that's the problem but it's a great place to start and give you more information. Now, if you don't have more than one receiver or all receivers are causing the problem, that's where it gets a little bit more complicated. So we're gonna talk about those troubleshooting steps next. If you're enjoying these videos, then head over to our website and sign up. You can get in and see the latest deals as well as contact us. You can even go check out our online supply store for Shaw Direct Parts. Just what you need to get the job done right. Sign up today. So the first thing we want to do is we want to check our satellite signal. So grab your Shaw remote, hit satellite on top, followed by options down at the bottom, then the numbers 4 and 7. This brings us to the system status screen. In here, you will see on line C and E, your signal strength. E will only show signal strength if you have a PVR. To go one step further, hit the red A button. This will show you real-time satellite information of your signal strength. What we're looking for is signals in the 90s. Anything above 85 will appear green on the bar. If your signal drops below 85, the signal strength bars will show yellow. And if you get to 65 or lower, they will be red and you'll probably start to have issues. So what we can do with this, which we'll talk more about later, is actually see tree interference. How you would do that is if you were watching this and there was a tree on a windy day blowing in front of the dish, these numbers would be jumping up and down, up and down. That generally will tell you that it's tree interference. <coughs> Download the Satellite Pointer app from your app store. You'll notice here you'll have a lot of satellites that are out there. The ones you are looking for are primarily the F2 and the G1 satellite. If you notice on the bottom, if you click on list, 
you can actually select Anik F2 and G1 as your favorite. Click on G1, and what it'll bring up is your azimuth, your elevation, and your polarization, which are all crucial in aligning a Shaw Direct satellite dish. Some of the same information is circled at the bottom of your AR view screen. Standing directly behind your dish using this app will give you a great idea if there is a tree or other obstacles in your way. Okay, so we've done our checks. We know that it's not trees. There's not a tree in sight. We also see that our signals are where they should be and tend to stay that way. Now, I bet you it's one of four things. Number one, connections. What I want you to do is try to go through all your connections, either from the receiver to the dish or from the dish to the receiver. Take apart any connection, visually look at it, make sure it looks good, make sure there's nothing contacting the center core, Make sure there's no water getting in there. You can tell that because it'll have a brown kind of color. That's a sign of rust. Um, just go through them. Replace any female F connectors that you might see as a precaution. Um, and just go through the line. Make sure your connections look good. Number two, are you using the right kind of connection? A lot of people will try to use splitters in their lines to make a connection. With a lot of things, that's fine, but with Shaw Direct, that is not fine. You want to replace any splitter with a female F connector and make sure it's tight. The third thing that can really cause some intermittent grief is the LMB, which is the eye of the dish. Now, if you can get up to your dish, I would recommend doing that and go check for any damage on the face of the LMB. If you see any cracking, um, that's a good sign that water's probably getting inside, and that can cause a lot of grief for you. Um, sometimes, though, even visually, if it, it might look fine, and it's not. There might be something inside that's starting to fail, and it can cause some very intermittent channel uh, issues. The final thing, which also causes very intermittent issues, is a uh, multi-switch. A multi-switch is only needed if you have more uh, lines needed than the dish can allow. So if you have two PVRs, your dish can run that. If you have three PVRs, then your dish needs help to split that properly and give you the six lines you need. So that's why you need a multi-switch. The multi-switch can fail on one port or all ports. Sometimes it's one port from the dish coming in, the line coming in. So it can be a very sporadic thing. The best way to test that is if you know, say you have a line down in the basement labeled living room, and you know which one's coming from the dish, bypass the multi-switch, hook them together directly using a female F connector, and see if that signal goes through there and all your channels will work again. That'll tell you if it was the multi-switch or not. Um, but to replace either the LMB or the multi-switch, you'll probably have to contact all media services or go right to Shaw Direct uh, to get a replacement. As you can see, there's many things that could arise uh, that could cause issues. That's why it's very important to do it right the first time. Having a professional install your Shaw Direct setup is uh, you know, gonna save you a lot of trouble in the end. So that's why I call all media services and get the professionals to do it for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe for many more. Also, go to our Facebook page and give us a like. And best of all, go to www.allmediaservices.net and subscribe today for more great videos and more great savings. Have a great day. Bye.